has to be one of the hardest six mark multi-step calculations I've seen. It's a separate science only because uh, it uses separate science equations. Um, we're looking for the density of water in a pool. We're given the gravitational field strength and uh, for this brick we're given the weight above it um, of 637 newtons and we're told that it's 2.5 meters below the water and we have got dimensions of the brick here. So density, there are only two equations we could be asked to use. It's either going to be density equals mass over volume or it's going to be um, this long equation for pressure which is pressure equals density times by g gravitational field strength times by h. Now you can use either, um, I'm going to use this one because I think it is a lot easier to be able to use use it. Now out of things we've got here we've got the height already or the depth below the surface we've got g 9.8 and we don't have density obviously we're trying to find it we also don't have pressure um, so there's one equation where you can use to find the pressure which is pressure equals uh, force divided by area. Now, if I was to use the force, so 637, we don't have the area, we've got to work that out. So have a look at the brick up here. Hopefully we can see that the surface that's in contact with the, um, surf the surface of the swimming pool um, is 25 centimetres long, so 0.25 metres long, and it's 10 centimetres wide, which is 0.1 metres wide. So to find the area, um, all I need to do, um, surface area, is just multiply those two together. So 0.25 times by um, 0.1, which is 0.025, and that's meters squared. So let's put that down where we've got area down here, so 0.025 meters squared, and we can then work out the pressure, um, which is 25,480 um, pascals. So that's already got us uh, three marks out of our six, um, even though we haven't got close to our final solution. But now we have got the pressure, we can then work out the density using this equation up here. So let's set it out again, just to make sure we're getting our full marks, um, even if we go wrong. Uh, so density times by G times by H. So density, and um, we're trying to find that pressure. We've got our value from earlier. So 25,480. Um, gravitational field strength, 9.8. Height below the surface, 2.5. Um, and then we just simplify and try and figure out, well, how am I actually going to find this out? So I've currently got times by 9.8 and times by 2.5 on the right hand side. So I need them to get into the left hand side. Um, so we're gonna end up doing something like the density equals 25480 divided by those two times together. You can always times it together first if you wanted to, to simplify it down, but you don't have to. Um, if you're careful with your brackets and put that into your final calculation, you'll get density of water equals uh, 1040 kilograms per meter cubed. So to give us our full six marks.